Hello, welcome to the Onong avec Anna podcast. My name is Anna and I'm really glad to see you today. Um, I'm currently recording from uh, my little shop in Exeter. Uh, we are located 34 Newbridge Street. Um, so yeah, we're in Exeter in Devon in the UK. Um, I can't remember the number of the episode because I never remember the number and I don't think about checking before. Um, but the last episode I recorded was um, just at the start of the summer I think maybe beginning of July or something like that uh, we're now early September um, we had a busy summer a lot of knitting um, and I'm back to work now at Olongavikana in the shop uh, preparing for the winter so yeah so I'm really glad to see you today So if you've never watched one of my episodes before, my name is Anna, I'm originally from France, uh, but I've been living in the UK for the last six years. I live in Exeter, in Devon, in England, in the southwest of England, uh, and I'm the founder of Along Avec Anna. So what is Along Avec Anna? Uh, it's a small business and we sell uh, ethical yarn, uh, accessible and size inclusive knitting patterns, as well as all sorts of accessories, and I'm a book author as well. Uh, so knitting is uh, one of my passion, um, I do everything about knitting in my personal and business life um, and yeah I like to share what I make uh, with you on YouTube so um, what happened recently what's gonna happen soon uh, we'll get through that uh, right now and then I've got a lot of um, project to show you that I've knit or that I'm currently knitting so let's go So the first big news is coming in a couple of days. It's Unravel Festival. So if you are in the UK and you know that festival, um, it's apparently really, really popular festival uh, for everyone. So if you don't know, it's located in Farnham. Um, and uh, yeah, it's about three hours away from Exeter. Uh, and I'll be a vendor there for the very first time. So I've never been a vendor, um, either for the knitting patterns or the yarn. I've, I've been to shows before as a book author or as a visitor, but never as a vendor. So I'm a bit stressed, but I literally can't wait. Um, so we'll be in the Barley Room, uh, which is, I think, in the first, at the first floor of Unravel. Um, and I will have with me all of the yarn um, so we now have 12 colors so I'll show you that in a minute um, I'll have the samples of the patterns um, I'll have books where you can buy the knitting patterns and I'll have a lot of accessories uh, that we make like the wool shampoo the stitch markers and things like that um, so yeah literally can't wait we're leaving on Thursday evening and we'll sleep in Farnham uh, and then we'll set up Friday morning at 6 a.m. Um, because my husband finishes a bit late on Thursday and he comes to help me. Um, so we won't be able to drive to Farnham and then set up on Thursday night. So we'll do that Friday really early. Um, so it's going to be a day with a lot of coffee and teas, I think. Um, and uh, yeah, I've got everything. I bought the banner with the the name of the brand and the logo which I didn't have before um, yeah it's really really exciting to be honest uh, and I can't wait to see you all um, yeah I hope you you'll enjoy like touching the samples seeing the yarn and just have a general chat um, so it's on Friday and Saturday uh, so the 9th and 10th of September and I'm doing Uh, if you're watching this video today or tomorrow, I'm doing an Instagram takeover on the Un Unravel Instagram page um, tomorrow on Tuesday um, to show people what we do and, and what we sell. So that's the big news. So I've been knitting like crazy for Unravel. Um, other news, we've just passed the five years anniversary of my small business, which originally was a blog that I started in 2013 and then it shifted to a business in 2017 with the release of our very first knitting patterns. Um, so end of August, that was the five years, five years anniversary, which is just crazy. Um, so for the occasion, I'm doing a minus 30% on all the patterns, all the PDF patterns uh, on our website, alongavigana.com on Ravelry uh, with the god Happy5. And it's from today, Monday, to Wednesday um, 
and it's Wednesday the 7th of September, I think. Um, so yeah, you can grab a pattern uh, for minus 30% if you want to. Um, I think that's it for the big, big news. Well, I've got the the yarn colors, but um, apart from that, I think that's it. So what did I do the last couple of weeks? Um, well, it's been quite a busy summer. I've been in the shop a lot uh, up to end of um, September, I was going to say, uh, end of July. Um, I had a lot of visitors. I was not expecting it. I thought that, you know, the summer would be really quiet, but actually I had a lot of visitors, a lot of visitors uh, that were tourists. Um, had many French people uh, or Belgian, um, had Canadian, Australian, a lot of people coming to the UK on holidays and stopping by the shop, so that was really nice. A lot of people from the UK as well coming down to Devon or, Con or Cornwall for the summer um, and stopping by Exeter for the shop, so that was really lovely. So I've met a lot of very nice people um, who follow the account on Instagram. Um, and yeah, it, it was nice, you know, chatting and everything. So that was July. And then I went to France for three weeks, like I always do. So went back to my parents in Brittany with my two little girls. Um, and yeah, we just spent three weeks there. Um, it was really nice, really busy, a lot of people, a lot of family. So that's quite tiring. Girls out of routine and everything, but, um, but it was still nice. I didn't manage to knit much. Uh, because I'm currently working on a new design uh, that takes me a lot of time um, so I haven't been able to knit a lot um, but yeah that's just the way it was I've knitted a lot before a lot after so that's fine <laughs> I, I still had my you know quota of hours of knitting um, and yeah we, we've been back for two weeks now and today is back to school so back to proper routine uh, which is which is nice um, especially with Unravel, um, you know, coming soon in a couple of days. So, um, so yeah, that's it. So what did I knit this summer? That's the big question because that's what we're here for, right? We're here for, um, we're here for the knitting. So what am I wearing today? I'm wearing what I was knitting, uh, in the last video and I can't remember exactly when I finished it. I think I finished it, uh, in July because I was knitting it when we were doing some camping in Cornwall. But then I've put it in my suitcase to Brittany being finished. So I've finished it sometime in July. So this is the silver, silver leaf cardigan. So it's exactly the same as the pattern I was wearing in the last episode, except it's a different color, different yarn. This is our yarn. This is the uh, silk mohair uh, held double with our merino four ply in the colorway Celado. So one of our favorite color and which is one of your favorite color as well. So it's a really nice color that works works as much as you know in in the summer than it does in the winter. I think so. Um, so I really love it. I I just literally love it. Um, so I've made it crop like the original pattern. I've got the jumper version that I think I've shown you last time, which is long. This time it's crop, but obviously it's easy to lengthen it. But I like to wear it on little lacy tops um, and dresses, um, and I just love the lace pattern. Um, it's really not hard; it just takes a bit of time, but it's not a difficult pattern as well uh, at all. Um, so yeah, so that was it, and then I've put just like normal little buttons. Um, speaking of buttons, we soon gonna have our own range of buttons. Um, we'll have about four or five different type of buttons and uh, half of them will be available in all our colors, uh, in all our yarn colors. So if you want to have, um, how do you call that in English? We call it ton sur ton in French. So it means it's like the same color of the button on the color of the yarn. You know, it's just like same, it's not a different one. Anyway, there's maybe an expression in English, but I, I don't know um, how you say. So if you know, just leave me a comment below so I'll know next for next time. Um, so at the moment, I've just put like normal, normal buttons, um, but hopefully a bit later in the autumn, we'll have, well, hopefully, we will have them just hopefully in the autumn, uh, we'll have our range of bot our buttons that will be available in the shop and then online. Um, and I can't wait. So yeah, it's always a question of like, where do you find your buttons? Where do you find your buttons? And I wanted to do that for ages. So 
um, I can't wait so I'll, I'll probably change them to put uh, the same color <coughs> as the yarn so yeah silver leaf um, I've knitted it really quickly I, I just loved it so much that I just couldn't wait to finish it um, so I've been like on the go non-stop where we were when we were camping and when we went to the beach I was just like knitting 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 um, and because I've you know I've done it several times I know the lace really well it's really easy to remember um, and you've got like um, little ribbing at the end uh, so it's kind of like balloon sleeve a tiny bit just play a bit with the light today as usual I've got a big window in the shop which is really nice then when obviously the weather is changing then the light is changing all the time um, so I finished that. Then what did I do? Since last time I finished, I think I had finished it already or almost, but I couldn't show it to you yet because it wasn't released. Ta -da! This is the Camellia tank top. So it's a tank top with buttons, uh, like a button band that you can wear either on the front or on the back because um, the the, the round of the neckline um, can be well yeah either at the front or back um, it's it's lovely both sides uh, to be honest I tend to wear it at the front but I've seen loads of, loads of testers and I took pictures uh, as well wearing it at the back and it's it's just really nice um, so it's a lacy top that is knit um, bottom up so you start at the bottom and then you knit this lace which is not hard at all like usual it's um you've got like knit two together knit purl knit two together probably slip slip knit i think uh yarn overs it's always kind of a similar you know similar technique um it's just just the stitch pattern that changes um you can't really remember the lace uh, you have to look at your chart all the time however um, it is quite easy to know where you're at so you have to double check but you kind of know what you have to do um, which I quite like when I do lace because I really struggle when I have to watch uh, absolutely every stitch of the chart um, I mean I have to I have to watch, um, I have to look at it every start of the row, but then once I've done it once or twice, I can do it all around um, and it's easier. So you just do that and you've got the bottom bend that is done same time as the front and back, uh, well, front of the front of the pattern. So it's in the same time, which is really nice. So you don't have at the end to just pick up your stitches and do your pattern bands. It's all in one. Um, and then you go up and then you obviously put the um, some stitches uh, you, you bind them off as an eye cord and then you do each front and then you do the back um, and then you finish with um, uh, you finish with uh, oh I can't find the word um, ah you finish with this which is done in double knitting, sorry, couldn't find the word. You just finish the strap in double knitting. Uh, you could make the strap wider if you wanted. Some people asked me. It does cover the a strap of a bra. However, depending on the size of your bra, bra, you may have a bigger strap. So you may want to have, you've got 10 stitches basically at the end. Um, but you could you could stop at like 14 and do like a 14 um, double knitting strap if you wanted or a 12. It's quite easy to do. And then at the end you pick up just the front and the back stitches and you do an eye cord. Um, so then it's really nice, uh, really nice finish. Um, to be honest, one of my tester forgot to do it when she took pictures and I took it's me who took pictures of her because she lives in Brittany. And I was like, oh, you didn't do the eye cord. And she's like, oh, no. Oh. <laughs> she forgot to do the eye cord. And it was still nice. It's just that it's a bit more raw in terms of the end, the finishes. But it's, yeah, it's not really, you know, it's not a massive problem. I had not seen until I actually took a picture and look at it. So, yeah. Um, but it's still nice to have, like, a nice, nice finish. So that was knit in our Merino Faux Ply um, in the colorway Dune. So I'll show you the colorway. 
So this is the Merino Full Ply, 200 meters for 50 gram, and it's dune. So it's like a sandy type of color. And um, as always for tank top, you don't really need a lot of balls, uh, even for the larger size. So that's really nice um, because it's like a quicker, quick-ish project that doesn't cost you loads and it's still really nice. Um, and even though it was heat wave in France, I've been able to wear it a lot. And my tester said they could wear it up to like a bit over 30, 32 degrees. Um, because yes, it's Perino, but then it's breathing, it's breathable way more than like viscose type of top. Um, so that was nice. Um, I've been able to wear it quite a lot under, uh, in the evening under a little cardigan or or something. So yeah, Camellia tank top. Really like this one. So I can't really wear it anymore because the weather is not as great at the moment. Um, and we're going to obviously the autumn. So I don't know. I sh I'm sure, I'm sure I, I could have worn it actually um, under this, for example. I didn't think about it today, but yeah. Uh, but I'm trying to keep them like perfect for unravel, so so that's that. Then what did I do? So as I said, I'm working on a new design uh, that I can't show you because I've got a Patreon page in French. So if, if you understand French, you can follow me there. And that's where I show all the behind the scenes, really. So I, I tend not to um, show on YouTube too early because of that, because people decide to obviously follow me and support my business and it's a massive help for me to develop the business so I can't really show on, on YouTube too early because because of that um, so but yeah I'm working on that design that takes me a lot of time but then I started to do the sleeve of my rosa so that that one compared to this one didn't go as fast uh, it's still not finished <laughs> so here you go um, so I had done the body and blocked it last time and then I needed to do the sleeves and then I started doing the sleeve um, and then I started that new design and I just, yeah, put that aside. Um, but I need to finish it this week because I really want to have it finished for Unravel. I may not have two sleeves done. So if you come to Unravel, you may see that there's just one sleeve. Um, but yeah, I need to finish at least this, at least this one. And then if this one doesn't have a sleeve, then it's just, you know, it's knitting. We do what we can. And I don't tend to use a lot of sample knitters because um, I don't know a lot of people who could do it. And sometimes I, I had is issues. Um, so I tend to knit a lot of myself, uh, which takes a lot of time. So, so that's the Rosa, uh, which was done in Merino four ply and silk mohair in the Louvre colorway. So in the gray. Um, so that is my goal uh, for probably today. I need to finish that. Um, I've spent the weekend doing uh, swatches for the new colors um, because so when I started, when I launched the yarn, uh, that was November 2021, last year. Uh, I started with six colors and then I added three colors in the spring, which was Céladon. Trésor and Dune uh, and now in September we've just added three more colors and then hopefully we'll carry on growing the range um, probably three colors by three colors like that um, every couple of months um, probably twice a year or something so we've got the our three new colors uh, for the autumn winter that I love so I'll show them to you and I've been doing this weekend swatches um, for um, unravel this weekend so then people can see what it looks like and touch it and stuff. So the first color that we have is Orage. So in French it means like thunderstorm sort of. Um, for me it's like the color of the sea when there is a thunderstorm. Um, so here it is. So it's a nice like denim blue sort of. Um, so you've got it on the double merino base. You've got it on the uh, Merino full ply fingering weight. And then you've got it on our cruelty free silk mohair. So just as a reminder, in our, all our yarn is cruelty free. And then even the silk of the silk mohair is cruelty free, um, which is really important to us. Um, so yeah, silk mohair. So that is Orage. 
And then I've just finished uh, knitting a pattern this weekend in this colorway. Because as I said, I want to make like as many samples as I can. So I started this on Thursday evening and finished it last night. It was really like a non-stop knitting weekend. Um, ta -da! So I don't have buttons yet. But this is the Rosa Little. So you've just seen the Rosa Cardigan Lady version which has a v-neck and then you've got the little version so this is in size two years old um, so it's for my little girl Suzanne um, she's just starting to wear she's quite petite she's over two um, two and three months or something um, but she's quite petite and she's just starting to wear a size two years old in knitting um, so it's going to be so cute on her this autumn and I've knit, a, knit it with one strand of uh, merino full ply and held together with one strand of mohair, self mohair in the orage colorway. So, um, so here it is, just blocked, um, which is very cute little cardigan. Um, so the size 2 and up are crop version to go on little dresses or things like that. Uh, and then size newborn or three months, I think it starts at three months, up to 18 months are just normal length because you, you wouldn't really put the crop on a baby. Uh, but then size two years old, you start putting dresses on a, a bit more and, um, you know, so two to up to 12 years old, it's a crop version, but you could lengthen it if you... Um, if you wanted so um, so yeah so that's the rosa cardigan really pleased with it i just need to um uh sorry i've got someone taking pictures of the street just there which is a bit weird <laughs> so that's why it makes me a bit what's she doing uh that's fine um so yeah so i just need to buy um little buttons while i wait for the delivery of mine um and then it'll be available um, as a sample to look at, uh, at unravel and then after that I'll take little pictures on Suzanne when I come back. So yeah! Um, so another colour that is being released is this one. It's called Grena and it's a sort of burgundy colour that I really really like. So that's the second color of the new release. So again, you've got it on our double merino, which is the DK base. You've got it on our fingering weight. And I've got a bus just stopping, so <laughs> it's hiding the light. Um, merino full ply. And then you've got it on our Cirque Mohair base. Ta -da! So I've knit this one as well. <laughs> So I'll show you. So for a change, I've knit in uh, the double merino base. Here it is. And I've knit the Erel jumper little version. So it's a bottom-up sweater um, with a nice stitch on the body. So it's not the same as the dandelion stitch. It's a bit similar as in it's, it's kind of a flower as well, but it's not not the same i'll just try and make it a bit lighter for you to see here you are um, so it's a bottom up so you start at the bottom and then you spread the stitch it's obviously all written in the instruction you spread the stitches um to have this effect of like a lot of texture stitch at the bottom and not much at the top and then you finish and it's just um stuck in its stitch and then it's a drop shoulder construction with little sleeves and the thing about this jumper is that it's a boxy uh, style so as you can see it's quite large it's a size two years old um, it starts at two up to 12 um, we haven't done smaller than two years old because as it's a boxy same you wouldn't really put a boxy um, jumper on a one-year-old uh, so it's nice it works really nice with a little pair of jeans um, when they start being two so um, so yeah so Alice my oldest had one that I had made all the pictures were taken with Alice because that was released in 2018 I think it was uh, autumn 2018 December or yeah can't remember exactly October 2018 maybe 
Um, so yeah, so I'm really, really pleased with it uh, in this colorway. I find it really nice. And with a little pair of jeans, it's just gonna work really well. Uh, and it's nice to have it as a DK. You could make it with um, uh, fingering weight and mohair if you wanted. Um, you just need to see if it will give you uh, the drape that it's supposed to have. Uh, I would say maybe go up a size in terms of needles. So in 4.5, like here, so then it's like a bit more drapey. Um, it, it, the double merino's got like a very nice drape. Uh, so it doesn't hold too much, which is what it's supposed to be like. Um, so yeah, so this one was done in a couple of days as well. I've just been like, non-stop knitting now i had received the yarn the new colors i was like i need to knit samples in order to show to unravel and then in the shop um so again i've started that the weekend before i think um i think i received the yarn on wednesday and then i started on the first day and was done on this on the on the sunday as well all blocked and stuff just like a knitting machine but yeah i mean it's children's size right i didn't go for like an adult i went for a children in size two years old so then it's easier um so yeah erel, erel little jumper which is um a nice one that i like too so that's uh in the new colors and then i've got a third new color but that i haven't been able to knit yet so i'm going to show you the swatch of what it looks like the last one I absolutely love is this one. So it's called Amethyst and it's a very nice kind of black current type of color. Um, so I'm really difficult with purple. It's a color I don't always enjoy. Um, and then when I create colors, it's the question of creating something I like, but that most people will like too. And then sometimes getting out of my comfort zone in order to create a color that will fit really well in the current range. Um, and I had an, a really like precise idea of the type of purple I wanted. And I really wanted that type of like black current, cassie, we call it in French, um, color that don't exist a lot on the market. You see a lot of purple, but not always that type of color. And uh, yeah, so I worked really hard with um, my spinning mill uh, in order to create the exact color that I wanted. Uh, we did several tries and then I, I um, decided on which one I liked the best, which is this one. So again, it's available in our double merino. Here you are. It's available on the merino full ply. Oh, nice little balls, and then it's available on the supplier, as your usual. Ta -da. And then when it's knit, so I haven't had time to knit a sample. Um, I may cast on one, but I've got two other ones to finish, and we're Monday, and we're leaving Thursday, and there's still loads of things to get ready for unravel, so... <laughs> Let's be honest, I don't think I'll have time to knit anything, uh, even a baby size. Um, so that's what it looks like when it's knit in silk mohair and um, merino full ply. So I found it really nice. It goes really well with the rest of the range, which I like. I'll show you a picture of the new, uh, of my wool of swatches um, with the 12 colors now, and it fits really, really well with the range. Um, and it, yeah, it's just type of different, perfect autumn, winter, autumn, winter colors. So, yeah. So, um, those new colors, uh, will, they are available already in the shop. So if you're in Exeter or close to Exeter, lucky you, they are already set up in the shop. Um, otherwise they will be officially released for Unravel. Um, so next week, this weekend. Uh, and then they will be available online a couple of days after that. Uh, we've got the photo shoot with our um, photographer, Veronica, who's in Bristol. And she's taking the pictures on Tuesday the 13th. Um, so time for us to come back from Unravel, work on our inventory after the fair, uh, get the pictures back, and the yarn will be available online. Um, so again, it's 
on our website longavecana.com if you're in the UK or worldwide. We deliver worldwide, uh, but if you're in the EU, uh, you need to go through our Etsy shop, um, so then you pay the yarn with the VAT instead of having to pay the VAT when you receive your your parcel with loads of other fees that the post office will ask you for. Um, yeah, if you buy on Etsy, there's no problem. You just pay the VAT then and there's no, no fees when you receive your pat your, your yarn. Um, and then if you live far away and you don't want to pay uh, the shipping fees like Australia, for example, or the US, uh, we do have worldwide uh, retailers that you can find on the website at the bottom uh, on the right it's written where to find us and if you click you'll find a list of our retailers um, and they will have the new colors um, later on in September probably by the end of September uh, again time for us to like pack all the retailer orders ship it to them and for them to put them on their website and stuff um, I mean by October maximum they'll have they'll have the, um, the new colors but in the meantime we'll have them on the website by mid-September so if you want to um, uh, yeah, grab the new colors and support us um, please do so yeah so that's the new colors again I've tried to concentrate on that um, and then now I end up with no whip technically uh, which is not true because as I said I've got the sleeve of the Rosa uh, lady, Rosa cardigan to make and then I had um, uh, one of my customers come in this morning and she needed help with the dandelion cardigan um, so the dandelion cardigan is a bottom-up cardigan um, so you have to join the body with the sleeve together and knit decreases to do the raglan instead of increasing if you're doing a top down um, I tend to like top down more uh, because it's just easier to create to like the construction um, and to, I mean to knit um, but in the case of the dandelion if you do it top down the flower is going to be upside down so it has to be bottom up um, anyway so she came and asked for help because she had put her stitch markers at the wrong side so she couldn't do the decreases like it was supposed to be in the pattern and then I remembered <laughs> that I had started a month ago uh, a dandelion cardigan so a month ago because that was before we had the double merino um, and I wanted to showcase that it was possible to do one of our pattern in normally in DK weight as in um, Merino full ply and self mohair so I had started it in the Royal colorway um, so I've, I've put the two balls together but just because I made a mistake and I needed to unravel so I just that are you know the two strands together but just because I've I've just unraveled unraveled it um so yeah so it, it made me remember that i had this pattern on the go that wasn't finished and i should maybe finish it for this weekend <laughs> oh stressful um so here it is so why should i finish it for this weekend when i i already have <coughs> a dandelion version in DK that is there in the shop um, just because I've realized that I haven't knitted yet the Royal colorway um, apart from a headband and a hat so it would be nice to showcase this very nice color um, as, a, as a cardigan so here it is so I've basically done uh, I've joined the sleeves and the body and then I've done a couple of raglan decreases um, and then I, I stopped uh, because I went too far, I think it's that's what it was, I went too far on the, uh, the flower stitch and I had done it one too far compared to where I started. You kind of want it to be like placed symmetrically and I don't know what I've done, I don't know why I've done that because normally I, I don't but yeah I've just knit one too much. Um, and then I didn't like because it wasn't symmetrical and I, I tend to like when it's very symmetrical <laughs> so this is my little problem with knitting um, so yeah so I've unraveled what I had done and I, I just need to finish that so I need to 
do that up to the top um, then do the neck band and then come back and do the front bands so I can actually I think I could finish that for this weekend um, but I just need, still need to block it and stuff so this is gonna be my mission for tonight tomorrow and Wednesday night and hopefully by Wednesday I can block it and Wednesday night I can block it and then it can be dry for when we leave on Thursday and um, otherwise I'm gonna have to uh, block it where we sleep on Thursday night which would not be very convenient so um, so, so yeah so here is the dandelion in the Royal Colorway so that's basically me so I've done how many one two three four I've finished four is not too bad um, and then I've got two on the go in terms of what I've shown you and as I said I've got a new design but that takes a lot of time I had to unravel like three times because I was making mistakes on what I wanted to to do that's the problem with designing sometimes it goes like really easily and sometimes you have to go back and forth to change the way it looks and the stitch and everything so um so yeah, I had to do that quite a lot of time which maybe lost time but lose time but you know it's not it's not the end of the world so yeah so here we are um so i'm i don't have anything else to show you at the moment um but i'll come back soon to tell you how was unravel um and uh, show you what what i've managed to finish on time um and what else i want to cast on uh, there's a new design I'm about to cast on once I've finished that and I'm struggling to decide on the colour um, I don't know which one of the three colours I should do it uh, it's double mohair design and I yeah I really struggle which one because I like them all um, so if you think there's one I should showcase more than the other uh, just leave me a comment below and um, and I'll listen to your to your advice but um otherwise yeah I've, i thought about maybe amethyst the black current one uh because i don't have a sample in this one yet so um, we'll see just yeah help me on this um anyway so i wish you a very nice week um if you manage to watch this video before tomorrow night um you can have a look at the unravel instagram takeover stories um and then if you live nearby farnham or if you're going down this weekend um come and say hi uh to my stand you'll it will be me and my husband who i don't really know what he's gonna do to be honest because i try to like quiz him on the name of the colors and stuff in in case he does um you know like uh, for example he he helps people with the payment or something uh, if I'm like advising someone with the yarn um, uh, he, he didn't do too bad to be honest you can see that he's often going to my uh, storage to bring the yarn to the shop um, so he didn't do too bad but yeah I'm still a bit stressed if he's gonna be able to you know find his way um, but yeah I'm sure he'll be fine and uh, it'll help me a lot in terms of like setting up uh, taking the stand down and then bringing some of the new stock back so um, so yeah it'll be me and Harry and uh, we'll see how how it is but yeah come and say hi um, and uh, yeah I can't wait to to see you all and uh, yeah in the meantime you can just leave me a comment tell me what you're working on and um, and yeah and I, I'll see you very soon have a nice day bye bye